right, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got the 2024 M440i X-Drive Grand Coupe. It is an individual Isle of Man green. It's a customer ordered car. And as you can tell right away, this one does not have the laser lights. So model year 24 is the last year, model year to get laser lights on any four series. So you got the standard lights and shadow line lights. You can see the grill's got the camera there in the middle, so it's parking assistance package. And it's very tight up here to try and do a video. As you can see everything's filled up here. All right, so let's move to the side. So we've got the style 859M wheels with the red M Sport calipers and Prelly P0 tires on it. Can step back and take in the side profile of the 4 Series Grand Coupe. Should be fun to you because it's also the uh, i4. Out back, we've got the high gloss black gurney flap here. M440i and X Drive badging in cerium gray. Got our dual exhaust and our faux diffuser. There's Isle of Man Green and that three quarters rear view in the sunlight. So, again, it's an individual color on the 4 Series. Standard on the M4. I think it looks really good on the 440 Grand Coupe. All right, we will make our way inside. Go over pricing and options on this M440. And based on the paint, you probably know it's going to be pretty expensive. All right, so opening up, we have the Chakor Red Vernasca Leather. So it's a watermelon spec, 4 Series Grand Coupe. The seats, you know, fairly comfortable. Nice quilting, nice little bit of contrast stitching, well bolstered. And see, side bolster adjustment, which means at least a Vernasca Leather. Lumbar support down here. And then a manually powered crumb catcher. M badger on the door sill. So in front of me, the standard M Sport steering wheel. Got M badging here, and then a button here for the heated steering wheel. Cruise control buttons over here on the left-hand side, and you got shift paddles, of course. Then in front of me, I drive eight, live cockpit. There's a heads-up display right there. The rest of the curved display in I drive eight. Then the trim here is the aluminum rhombosyl anthracite trim, the sporty trim for the 4 Series Grand Coupe. More of it in the center console. Got your drive selector nub iDrive controller. All right, so starting price of the 2024 440 Grand Coupe is $63,050. The Isle of Man Green adds another $4,500. The leather adds another $1,500. Shell impact for another $400. Got the parking assistance package for another $700. Premium package for $1,650. Then you got the adaptive M suspension for another $550. Those 19 inch wheels add another $600. The Sensatec dashboard for the 350, front and rear heated seats for the 350. 100 bucks for the drive recorder, which you can also add after the fact through the connected drive store. All told, MSRP of this particular example, $74,745. There's more of that Sensatec dashboard with some contrast stitching. Hop in the back seat real quick. So, my criticism of the 4 Series Grand Coupe is this door opening for the rear passengers. It's really narrow. And that sloping roof line means you do have to duck your head to get in. And here's via the cockpit from the back seat. Then you do have a climate control zone in the back plus the USB-C charging ports. I am, don't imagine this is going away for the 2025 model year 4 Series Grand Coupe. Then you've got pretty decent knee room. Then headroom, it's not too bad but can be problematic for even taller passengers. I'm about five foot 11, so keep that in mind. All right, move to the back. We can use our kick to open feature and take advantage of that hatchback. So pretty good wide opening for cargo needs. And then the cargo area, it's a pretty decent size. There's no extra storage space down below, unlike in the i4. You can also fold down this rear seat for even more room. And then kick the clothes. We'll make our way to the front. 
and take a look at what's underneath the bonnet here. So under the hood here is the B58 inline six, three liter turbo engine. And this guy is it's 382 horsepower and 369 torques. So still a pretty decently powerful engine. There's some slight upgrades for model year 25, mostly in the torque department. But that's it for a quick look at this individual M440i Grand Coupe. And we'll see you at the next video.